What's up, friends and neighbors? It's Combs, guys. Tonight, doing a um, a cooking with yours truly and and that one. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, we are making a recipe that we found on TikTok. Yes. Okay. Want to tell them what it is? Uh, Philly cheesesteak quesadillas. Nice. All right. So cool. So we're gonna do that. I am going to start chopping more of that up. We had to find a placemat. Because even though I did all the hard work to refinish all that, she literally said, if you get juices on my new kitchen <laughs> island, I'm going to be upset. So apparently it's no longer no longer my island. But that's okay. Um, so while I'm doing that, um, I'm going to set you over here. That way you can take a look at the awesome cutting tools that we have access to. My so chopper. so I will uh, I will get you over there. Okay, so we have successfully transported you to the other side of the kitchen. So there you go. You can watch her chop vegetables while I over here and chop meat. It's going to be loud as heck, so <laughs> headphone users. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't make fun of me for not cutting this uh, jalapeno correctly. Guys. Make fun of her for cutting the jalapeno in great Oh, she's spicy. Why is it spicy? There's still some skin on that. <laughs> go, baby. On the uh, onion. This is this is this is smackle. There you go, baby. Baby, I'm gonna put that one. Where to go, go, baby? Look at that little clip. Just a little bit. Professional chefs, we are not people. Mm -mm. Okay. We're trying to make videos for you of stuff you can make at home and all that good stuff. Yeah. The professional chefs are cringing at my knife skills, but I mean. Are you chopping with, are you rounding your fingers at the very end of it? No, I'm just going at it. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna lose a fingy tip. I almost did that once. Remember when my mom did that, like, earlier this year? Yeah, that was terrible. Oh, yeah. She, like, was cutting with a knife and cut down on the tip of her finger like that and like a whole chunk into it and cut like half of her nail off it was it bled for so long like we thought we were gonna have to take her to get stitches shout out to Matt's mom yeah <laughs> oh anyway it healed <laughs> and um what was it it was Easter when I was making potatoes and I sliced into my finger <laughs> on Easter and I bled into the potatoes that's not true I didn't bleed into the potatoes God. <laughs> I didn't, and you came downstairs, I was like bleeding everywhere. Yeah, like, I remember that, it was scary. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, look at all the little seeds. There's so many seeds. All oh, the seedlets. Mm -hmm. Got this at um, Marshall's, by the way, my fingers. Marshall's? I'm glad. I asked for Christmas for my mom a mandolin. You know what those are? Yeah. Like the little slicey things. We're going to get one of those. Sweet. Here they guys. We're getting a mandolin. We're getting a mandolin. I guess we use it for something at some point. Yeah. I've needed it a couple times, so. And there you go. Mm, that one didn't go there over there. 
Push harder. Do you want me to do this whole entire bell pepper? Or just like most oh, of it? It's up to you how much pepper you want. I don't know if I want to do like all, all of it. Well, then you don't have to. Do as much pepper as you want. Because there's no rules with cooking. There's a lot of rules with cooking, actually. Except for food safety. Those are just rules to follow. But everything else is, you know, kind of... You know, listen, the rat movie taught me that, okay? <laughs> I love the rat movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good enough. And then, it's got this nifty little thing that you can just dump them on in. Oh, shit! I don't know what I'm going to do that, but I don't want to use it. You want to use what? That. Well, guess what? We don't have to. I oh, know. Don't look at my horrible cutting skills. <laughs> this um. is just going to be titled um, Philly I Cheese Steak Quesadillas. And then in the little asterisks, like terrible cutting skills. Oh, thanks, babe. Well, me too. Oh. <laughs> Both of us. Just, just as we're gonna do. I'm gonna say you just make me feel so good about myself. No. <laughs> Self-esteem issues creeping back in. I feel like I'm back in high school. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I actually was one of the fortunate ones that didn't really get bullied that much in high school. I was the one who bullied. I'm kidding. I didn't. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. I'm kidding. Okay. You didn't believe that, did you? For a second. Yeah. Oh. Wow. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. No, you don't have a mean bone in your body. Even when you say you're being mean, you're like, I'm not, I'm being mean, and I'm like, mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah, this seems to be like ch chunked up, nasty, nasty chunklets. That's what I'm doing. Unless you want smaller chunklets. I do. Like that. Boom. Small chunklets. Yeah. Then I go back and re-chunk the chunklets. Mm -hmm. That is a professional cooking term, by the way. Re-chunk the chunklets in case you in case you were wondering. We're gonna get roasted in the comment section. Mm -hmm. It's fine. It's fine. I'm big boy, I can handle it. I can't um I can't. Please be nice to me. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Roast her. Roast. No, I will cry. <laughs> no. Yeah, she actually will. <laughs> she cried because I shaved my beard. Like I, I, like I didn't shave it off, but like I trimmed it down. She actually. It was like so it. short though. She but... cried about it. It was funny. I, I did because, but it's better now. Yep, it is. All right. It's, it's... Do we need those any smaller? No. This one. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like I need to be pretty like tiny because I don't want to like big chunks of steak in my. Everybody loves big chunks of steak. Duh. Here we go. I think that looks pretty good. It's about what you get when you go to Chipotle. Yeah, and that one. And then that's okay. okay that I like one. them small. That one's good. All right, what else? That one. This one? Yeah. All right. What else? Let me inspect. Give me a lot of work. All right, there's the fork. Do your inspections. For sure. Okay. That one. Probably Definitely this one. Definitely that one. Okay. Just do these couple right here. Okay. Bada bing. Bada boom. Boom. There we go. All right. So now that you have your steak chunked and whatnot, you're going to want to throw it into a pan with some Earl. So you want to let that Earl get all heated up. So we got some light tasting olive Earl. So we're going to go ahead and Coat the pan. Yeah, a little bit, little bit more than that. Yep. And then we need, um, Gotta put this on like a medium heat. Get this pan all nice and coated. We need to put the seasonings and stuff on both. Yep. Then as soon as uh, this oil heats up, we'll be right back to your regularly scheduled program. Okay, so 
while that oil is heating up, we've got the meat here. We put a light coating of oil on it as well per the video. Um, and basically what you're going to do is you're going to put just regular household pepper. Salt. We prefer the Himalayan pink salt because it's better for your arteries and it? such. It's supposed to be. It's also supposed to be good vibage if you have the rock, like the whole like oh, yeah. I salt mean, I have lamp. That. I have those in my like spot room. Yeah. So, and then a little bit of garlic powder, your anti-vampire stuff. I think you onion too. If you want. Maybe a little onion powder. We're, we're deviating from the recipe. We're not. We're not. That's a little onion powder. All right. So go ahead and give that a stir. Let me get in there all nice and deep like for all the ASMR people. Take a listen to that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Anyway, <laughs> family friendly. <laughs> um, Does that look like that's coated enough? Or yeah, I, I think it looks pretty good. All right. So like I said, I'm going to put you back over on the stove. And then when that oil heats up, we will uh, do that thing that we just. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put these in here. It's on medium, Brie. There you go. We're gonna we're gonna go a little more medium, a little less medium, I should say. I think we got enough oil in there. Well. When you put all the meat in there, let me show you. She'll get some juicy. Go ahead and dump the rest of that in there. Oh <laughs> well, they're doing care, Lou. No, no. Yeah. So, yeah, you want to just kind of spread it out a little bit. See, and then you kind of just get it all around there, and it'll do its thing. All right, we'll leave this with you guys for a couple minutes so you can just enjoy that that sweet, sweet sizzle. It definitely will. Yep, don't want it to get too super dumb though. They have a little pink in there. I mean, I wouldn't mind, but. You want it well done? Well, not well done, but. Oh. I don't want it like too much because I do like it. I mean, fair enough. See, so guys, that's what relationships are all about. It's compromise. That's why we get to put up Christmas stuff now. Yep. Because I compromise my way out of having an argument <laughs> anyway um so yeah i just want to kind of go through and flip these make sure they get cooked on uh you know all sides and everything and then we're gonna have to drain the earl Actually, no, we don't. oh that's right we're, that we're gonna reuse that for the actual case Actually, of i forgot yeah. so So yeah, so in the comments below, you know, let us know uh, how you guys take your steak. Are you a uh, well done steak person? Because you're weird. No, I'm just kidding. Um, or uh, do you like it mooing because you're also a stranger? No, I'm just kidding. No, but just let me know in the comments below how you guys take your steak. I'm, not, I'm okay with a little bit of pink, but I don't like it too much. Okay, so you're a... You're a medium well yeah. type of a girly. Yeah, and um, and I prefer mine medium. I used to, I you know, I lived with my parents, you know, obviously growing up, but um, no. <laughs> but uh, they're they're like well done steak people. Are they really? I've convinced them over the years to go like medium well, but they were always like well done steak people because mom had like a phobia of like somehow we're all gonna get sick, and that's the thing too. I know somebody's gonna debate me in the comments, but. What I heard from an actual butcher 
is it's not um, how done or not done your steak is that makes you sick. It's the actual cut of meat itself. The way it's stored, the way it's prepared, um, you know, all of the above. So, so yeah, the steak is done. So we're going to go ahead and pull the steak out, put it, put it in the bowl that we washed. I washed it. <laughs> so, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and put the veggies in after that. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all. So we got the steak in the bowl right there. So now the next step in the process is to take your veggies that we already cut up in the same you know oil and stuff that you used before we took some stuff out but we you know kind of just did our thing here and uh, added a little extra oil but basically you want to take these veggies and you want to add a little bit of salt to them uh, per the recipe and then um, for two minutes yep and i just did onions bell peppers and jalapenos the recipe had like a red bell pepper, but you can kind of do whatever you want, I guess. So it'll cook for about two minutes. Again, that sizzle. It should be. It, it looked good. Yeah, we can probably do all of it in the same hand, I think. Yeah. I think oh, yeah, those look good in there. I think he does those too, so. Yeah. Oh, show. Okay. All right, guys, so they're getting closer to being done. So basically, the step now, if you cook them for two minutes, you go ahead and put in some garlic and then stir it. And then cook it for another minute. <laughs> Stir it, yeah, I probably. Uh, the video used like actual, you know, diced garlic, but I, I'm not that fancy. I like the jarred stuff, so. We're balling on a budget here, okay? We're balling on convenience. That too. But also a budget. No, no. I may have and a pretty. Is... Go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say, this is not an overly expensive meal. Like, you buy. Some steak. You could do it with chicken, but or beef or whatever. But yeah. Cause all the vegetables are cheap, so and the quesadillas are cheap, so. I think the I think the steak was probably the most expensive. Well, yeah, that part. was a, that was a ten dollar piece of meat, but it's gonna feed two of us, so. Yeah. So, but other than that, you know, you can buy you can buy these flour tortillas in bulk, especially if you go to Sam's Club or Costco or Meyer, because that's where we shop. That was actually, those came from Aldi, actually. This is an Aldi? Yeah. Nice. Aldi's kind of growing on me, y'all. Like, um, I have an uncle that, it's kind of funny, he's actually got more money than probably half the family together, and he exclusively shops at Aldi, so I'm thinking that's why he has the money that he does, is because he exclusively shops at Aldi. Like, Aldi's good, they have a lot of stuff, but there's some stuff you can't get at Aldi, and basically his philosophy, he's actually said it to my face once, I was like, well, what about the stuff you can't get at all? He goes, well, if they ain't got it, I ain't gonna get it. <laughs> I'm like, all right, Jim. Well, Aldi's is great, but not for everything. Like, you can't get everything. Yeah. yeah all right, so then, next step, you want to take your steak here, and you want to go ahead and just pour it right back in, and then kind of do its thing all together. And how long is it supposed to do this part for, bitch? You know, I don't know. We're going to add some... Worcester Serie, <laughs> or what's this here sauce, or, um... I don't actually have a measurement for this, so I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it. Yeah, it said just, said just pour some in, so... Yeah, was, well, he had, like, it didn't have a measurement, basically, so... So, yeah, go ahead and put you some Worcester sauce in here. Worcestershire. Worcestershire, whatever. No one knows how to pronounce the sauce. It's Worcestershire. They're just pretending. Then after that, then you just start to everything back into the bowl. And then we're gonna start quesadillas. Yep. So we'll see you guys in a minute. All right. So now that you got everything out of there, we've got the tortilla here. So get your tortilla. 
and then your quaso cheese. And then you're going to want to put a layer of the quaso right there, like so. See? Quaso. Quaso. And then uh, after that, you want to take your spoon and. I love how thorough you are. Yeah. Oh well, people got to know that, you know, instructions unclear, they might get their like toe caught in the ceiling fan or something. Like, who knows? If you know the actual joke of that, then you're, you know. You're covered, but family friendly. <laughs> okay, so we're good. Yep, so you got it just like that. Okay, next. Optional, but the video did have a slice of provolone cheese at the top. You could you could definitely just do queso if you wanted to, but I bought it, so. Because then you can kind of. Give it a rip. Let it rip, tater chip. Yep. Can we hold it all together? And then get you the spatula. And then we're gonna do low. We're gonna do low and slow. Low and slow. You right. Hopefully there's enough cheese. Babe, I think that's enough cheese. Yeah. Well, I want it to be able to seal the edges. You know what I mean? I think it'll be fine. I want it to, to seal the edges so stuff doesn't fall out like this. Seal the edges, people. Seal the edges. If you don't wrap it, you don't have keys. <laughs> Baby. <Bad, dude. laughs> Nobody wants that. What? <laughs> I'm sure there are people that watch this channel that love their children. <laughs> Just like our parents loved us. <laughs> <laughs> loved is the word there. Babe. <laughs> This one's secretly an emo kid in disguise. <laughs> I, I caught her listening to My Chemical Romance like a month ago. Oh, yeah, when you came home from work. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I like My Chemical Romance. I've seen Fall Out Boy in concert, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't know if they actually count as, like, emo. But... Emo kid. <laughs> I think it's gonna be good. It does look good. Why does my stove sound like an old creaky pirate ship? They always ship? do. It's so weird. It sounds like a pirate ship. What's the back look like? Getting done? No. We're going to flip it, though. Boom. That's the secret to a good quesadilla, if you don't know. you got to flip it a lot more than just one time. So it's like an omelet. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm telling you. In order to get the best, the best quesadilla. Okay. Okay. I mean, I, I, I believe you. This, by the way, made a lot of dishes. <laughs> yeah, which is fine. That's why I, that's why I have a dish Actually, closet. honestly, it's not my bad, I guess. No, no, it's not too hazy. It just feels like I'm using a lot of utensils. <laughs> yeah. But it's okay. Speaking of cheese. We also have two cups of cheese in there because we got chips. Because <laughs> no, because no Mexican dinner is complete without at least chips and salsa. Which we have salsa too, so. So you got at least got Trader Joe's salsa. Ooh, there we go. We're getting fancy. That's like the only thing oh. we probably bought from Trader Joe's. Look at that. Look at that. That just. Mm. Yeah, but then you know what the real the real. Is. What's the trick though? Teach him. Teach us. Whoa. Noni. And then when it's over, you'll, you'll, you'll get cheese on both sides. Uh, you get like, so if you've been to Taco Bell and you've had their grilled cheese burrito, which is my favorite, mm -hmm. that's how they do it on the outside. There's like cheese on the outside. Alright. Okay. Such like this. You know. Oh, it looks so good. It does look good. I was kind of doubting it. Like, I was like, oh, you want steak quesadillas? I was like, eh. But then I look at the recipe, and I was like, well, this looks pretty good. So. Hey, steak quesadillas from Taco Bell Slap. Okay? I know, but, like, I don't know. I was a little doubtful. I wasn't doubting your abilities, but. She always doubts me. I, I wasn't. I wasn't. I was not. So then. A little bit of taco sauce? Seasoning? Taco seasoning? I can't get it to work. Is this old or something? It could be. 
Well, it also sits on top of the stove, so when we do cook things, it gets all... It's probably just stuck together with heat. Humidity. If and you will. And I'm gonna flip. This one should be done in momentarily. Also, maybe because it's not a very big like well, way to get out. Are you here? Let's see. You're not lined up. There you go. That's gonna get out so much. Well, then you do it like this. Yeah, it was open. I thought it's just disabled a little bit. <laughs> it's like crusty. handy capable. <laughs> crusty. It's old. Here, give me that. Just. It's okay. It's done anyway. Yeah, I didn't try hard enough. <laughs> Look how clumpy it is. It's so clumpy. That's gross. Okay. Like I said, it's because it sits on top of the stove. Look at that. Looks good. I think it's probably done. I think you're right. As soon as this other side melts. And we'll start the next one. We just have to start heating up the queso. Yes. You can only do it in like short increments because then it needs to be stirred in between. Do you have to spoon it? A minute at a time? No, not even that. 30 long. seconds at a time? If that. 30 seconds. Spoon. I, that might explode it too, but. Nah. Things don't explode in the microwave. What are you talking about? Alright. No, they do. They totally explode in the microwave. Okay, right, let's make sure it looks good on the other side. Smack! <laughs> looks good. It's hefty. Heck yeah. All right, we gotta get that, get the, get, a, get a knife there, get that shot of that thing getting cut in half, and then we'll, and then we'll end this video so we can. Well, actually, we have, we're gonna have to give them a review when we're done. Well, yeah. All right, y'all. I'm gonna cut into this thing, and I'm gonna give a taste test and just see how. Uh, how good it actually is. We got to do, you got to get a shot of the cheese just. Oh, oh man, that was less satisfying. Nah, I was not satisfied with that, but it's okay. Oh, yeah. You're good. Looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. I mean, you could, you can tell there's cheese inside of that. The cheese pool was not satisfying, but. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that was, uh, that's pretty good. And. You know, and I was really surprised. Like the the meat that we had in here, that was just like a one pound thing of sirloin. So you don't need a whole ton of meat, you know, to feed. And even that, look, I mean, look how much is left yeah. after two quesadillas. So that could easily feed. If you did one quesadilla like that, that could easily feed five people. I would say somewhere in that ballpark, but but yeah, guys. So um, with that, I think we're gonna end this one here. So thanks for. Uh, Thanks for joining us tonight in uh, in the kitchen. So I guess it's not just cooking with Combs. It's cooking with Combs and Maddie tonight. <laughs> so, you know, that's always nice. But, cooking uh, with girlfriends. Cooking, yes. <laughs> so, but anyway, guys, um, thanks again for all the support and everything. Um, channel's been actually blowing up pretty good. So I appreciate it. She, she appreciates it. Um, and, uh, yeah, so take care, you guys. Uh, and uh, bone app the, bone app the teeth. Bone, bone apple, apple tea, tea you know whatever you want to say so uh we're live from the kitchen and we're out <laughs>